Prelude to Ulysses. Kind of stopped doing these, but we're going to start again. It's probably not true. New book. This looks fucking awful. Oh, yeah. So this is, uh, this is where I read books. I'm just reading books. That's it. I saw this at the free library in a park. And just from the name, I was like, that looks like a fucking Nazi book or some shit. It's called Blood and Honor. Right. And then it's by Reinhold Kirsten. It's a bunch of like swastikas on the cover. I was right. All I saw was this and I was like, oh man, that looks fucking. Oh, I think it's because of this font on the author's name. Look at that. That. That's a familiar looking K, and I don't really know why. All right, Ryan, hold concerns. I got this from the free library. Um, <sighs> Blood and Honor by Kirsten Reinhold from the Evangelical Free Church of Sycamore to Kalb. Even those fuckers think we should discard this book. Let's do it. <clears throat> Eventually. I will throw it away. Well, we'll find out. It's written in 19 fucking 80. Something else. Okay. Evangelical Free Church. The book was written special at, at the Billy Graham Evangelical Association. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to read this. Take a break from reading the Bible to read this shit. Maybe I'll love it. Maybe I'll love it. Blood and Honor. Here's the foreword. This is probably as far as we're going to get to today. One of the most unforgettable events of my entire ministry was the opportunity in 1982. What the fuck? When was this book written? 1980, 1983. I guess this is a different Ford. Billy Graham. Who the fuck's Billy Graham anyways? He's the one that runs the publishing company? Special Crusade Edition printed for the Billy Graham, for the Billy Graham Evangelical Association. So, I don't know. What does Special Crusade Edition mean? It says the number 1142 handwritten above that. Out of how many 114s? Alright, whatever. All right, I gotta read this part. All rights reserved, printed in the United States of America. No part of this book may be used or reproduced in any manner whatsoever without written permission from the david c cook publishing is this illegal is reading this book illegal i feel like it should be already but for other reasons than that i shouldn't have read that we'll just edit that out later they're from elgin illinois except in the case of brief quotations embodied in magazine articles and book reviews oh this is a book review it's a book review and it's gonna be in brief quotations just many of them sporadically interspersed in my review cover design and illustration by bill warchester bill warchester i, I don't know if i'm going to show the cover of this book i know i will eventually it's a sword with the nazi insignia on the ladle and the handle. <laughs> it's centered. Um, so the, the 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 smile of the sword, what would you call that? The the ladle cover? <laughs> the handle blade. I'll just show it. I'll just see it says it's underlining the and. It's a good book review. And on that it says blood und eri blood blut und elehi um the last video i made um 
this didn't didn't really pick up all the things that the ukulele sounds I didn't actually watch it so I don't know what else wasn't picked up I just want to watch the ukulele sounds so I don't know if this will even be recorded because I don't know why I wouldn't pick up a ukulele sound it's a sound it just like edited it out and I didn't really do much all right whatever okay forward so let's remember it's published in between 1980 in 1983 and here is the foreword one of the most unforgettable events of my entire ministry quote was the opportunity in 1982 to preach the gospel of jesus christ throughout east germany night after night we saw hundreds of people make their commitment to jesus christ by far the largest number were young people quote end quote start quote vowing to follow Christ as their savior, <laughs> savior and Lord, wherever he might lead. Fuck. There's going to be a lot of that in this. I don't know if I can read this fucking book. Oh my God. It's not even very long. And my interpreter in East Germany was Dr. Reinhold Kirsten. Man, you can't say that name without picturing some dude slightly balding, holding a briefcase with tall boots. Definitely holding a briefcase. Definitely leather. Definitely maybe with Coke bottle eyeglasses. Maybe a fake mustache. Standing at a train station. Waiting. Waiting. Alright. That's my vision of Dr. Reinhold Kirsten. Star quote, who tells this in this book the remarkable story of his years as a member of the German Hitler Youth. During World War II, <laughs> I don't know why I expected it to be some other war, as he and I traveled together, we cannot help but think that earlier of that earlier generation of German young people, a generation that had vowed to follow not Christ, but another leader. Adolf Hitler, wherever he might lead them, end quote, start quote, Reinhold Kirsten, 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 Dr. Reinhold Kirsten, is he, there's a picture of him, this guy looks chill as hell, this guy, God, of course the Nazis wanted to hang out with this guy, he probably was one, oh yeah, he was one, probably, look at that, Oh, shit. Oh, no. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> all right. We'll edit all that out. All right. We're still we're in the second paragraph of the foreword of this book. Live reacting. As he and I traveled together, we could not help but think of the ones that followed, blah, 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 Adolf Hitler, mm, wherever he might lead them. Reinhold Kirsten, <laughs> that guy, knew, that guy, this, they, the fuck, man, uh, that one dude knew that generation well, for he had been one of them, and yet, by God's grace, he not only survived the horrors of the Second World War on the Nazi side, on the Nazi side, <laughs> but found in Jesus Christ the true meaning and hope of life. I mean, I, I guess I'm glad that this is not pro not not is it? It's not pro Nazi. I don't know. I wasn't sure. I really. Uh, I mean, there's a cross on the cover right next to a swastika, and then I knew why it was an evangelical thing. So I kind of assumed it was pro-Nazis. It's a good surprise. No offense, if Evan, Mr. Evan dot Jellical, but uh, yeah, definitely seemed uh, seemed like it was a pro-Nazi situation, which I'm glad it's not. <laughs> but now I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. All right, we're still in the uh, second paragraph of the foreword. 
world war, but found in Jesus Christ the true meaning of hope and life. This is a profoundly moving and inspiring story. It vividly portrays the false promises and deceptions of Nazism and the despair and struggle for survival that characterize the months, months, months immediately after war. Profoundly moving. False promises. Despair and struggle for survival that characterize the months immediately after the war. See, that seems strange that that's the part of World War II that they describe as despair and struggle for survival. It is the Nazis after they stopped genociding a little. They're probably still trying. I bet it took a while for it all to stop. I don't really know much about it. the wars. Ken Burns picks too good of uh, musicians. He's got too much good music going on. I'm not going to pay attention to what's fucking happening on the fucking... With the cannons and Lincoln and shit. <laughs> Alright. We're in the third paragraph. This is a profoundly... Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. After the war. Right. It was, it's also a true story of forgiveness and healing. Of compassion and new life. Most of all, it is a powerful testimony to the faithfulness and grace of God. May God use this book to show each of us the importance of living for Christ each day. In our families, our jobs, our communities, and nation. Our world, and may God use it also to teach us more about his love and care for each of us in every circumstance. Thanks, Billy Graham. I wonder what would be the first thing to happen if I Google Billy Graham. Boom. I don't want to. Boom. B -b 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 -bill. Billy Graham. Yeah, all right, Billy Graham. I have a computer now. Mm -mm -mm. So, billygram.org. We're not going to read off that. Christianbook.com. Nope. Wikipedia. I'm not going to read all that. Early life? No. Crusades? Uh oh. Student ministry? Evangelical? Civil rights movement? Uh oh. Lao San movement? Multiple roles? What? Oh no. His, he had a close relationship with Lyndon B. Johnson. And Richard Nixon, um, according to uh, David Foster Wallace, I think Lyndon B. Johnson was in love with somebody. <laughs> All right. Okay. No. So that's the forward. Um, Billy Graham sounds like. Oh, I guess I should read the civil rights part, right? That's the that's the part. That's the, gonna be the part, right? So, this is the guy who is a part, somehow, of publishing this book. The Special Crusade Edition, which we are reading, is actually printed for Billy Graham's Association. So, let's, let's learn a little bit. Alright, I'll read something. I don't want to read the Crusades, it's too long. Uh... I bet that's just ministry shit. Student ministry. Evangelical Association. Alright. God, all right, let's pick a paragraph out of the civil rights movement part of this. <sighs> Despite their friendship, tensions between Graham and King, I'm assuming Martin Luther King, I guess I'll read the whole thing. Graham's early crusades were segregated, but he began adjusting his approach in the 1950s. During a 1953 rally in Chattanooga, look at my biases just showing out. This guy is just the best guy. No, I don't know. I'm not going to read this. Let's be real. Not right now. Maybe one day Billy Graham will. 
All right, now let's keep going. So there's pictures. One is of East Germany. One is of somebody talking. Is of the Germans. You can tell because of their sweaters. You see? Super German lacing. See that? That's very um, obvious um, um, German knitting. You see it? Do you see? So, um, all right. Prologue. I don't think we're going to get into that. No way. Let me read the dedication. Dedicated to my children, Andrew, Peter, Annette, whose young lives have been so much more peaceful than mine and whose concepts of blood and honor were not twisted by Nazi ideology. May God guide them safely through the turmoil of their time. All right. Good. Good start. Um, right off the bat, shows uh, my biases of... Uh, All sorts just failing me. Sounds like this guy who looks just like me. I don't wear glasses anymore. They must have invented LASIK in 1984, you dumb fuck. Hey, I've been rapping every day. I've been rapping, rapping. I've been rapping, 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 rapping. Okay, that is fucking bad. Um. Yeah, no, so uh, thanks for joining me in 